Now, the financial instrument that we will use as an example of the category financial assets at amortized cost is a debenture. And we will actually be looking at a debenture from both sides, both from the company who issues the debenture as well as the company that invests in the debenture. So if a company invests in a debenture, the proceeds they receive over the life of the debenture is in the form of interest. So the return on their investment is interest. But a debenture also matures and gets redeemed at a date in the future. So the entity that invests in a debenture will receive interest over the life of the debenture and then they will receive the maturity or the redemption payment at a specific date or it can even be on more than one date. That is why a debenture is a financial asset. It is a right to receive money, money in the form of interest as well as capital repayments. Now, if we have a look at example eight, Example 8 starts with the information that Luan Limited purchases a 10% 1,000 Rand debenture. So a debenture always gets named as, for example, a 1,000 Rand debenture or a 10,000 Rand debenture or a 500 Rand debenture or a 18,000 Rand debenture. That is the nominal value of the debenture. Another word for that, that is the par value of the debenture. This debenture will have proceeds in the form of interest of 10%. How do I know that? Because they told us it is a 10% 1,000 Rand debenture. The 10% therefore is the interest that will flow in cash, the interest that will be received by the investor and that will be paid by the issuer, the cash flow that will take place. So how much interest will this debenture have per year? 10% of the nominal value. Nominal value times nominal rate is the cash flow interest. So this debenture will have 10% times 1,000 Rand, which means it will have 100 Rand interest per year. Nominal value times nominal rate. The rate that is promised in the debenture contract that will be the interest that flows in cash from the issuer to the investor. A debenture can be issued by the issuer either at the nominal value, in this case a thousand rand per debenture, or it can be issued at an amount higher than that nominal value. Then we say this debenture gets issued at a premium. It can also be issued at a value lower than the nominal value of a thousand rand. That means the debenture is issued at a discount. The debenture has a maturity date or a redemption date. That is the day that the issuer will have to repay the capital, repay the amount to the investor. Now that maturity payment the capital payment can either be at nominal value, in other words, a thousand rand in this case, or at more than nominal value, then we say it is redeemed or matures at a premium, or it can be lower than the nominal value of a thousand rand, then we say it matures at a discount. Now, we will tell you whether it matures at a premium or a discount, whether it's issued at a premium or a discount. But how does it work? How does the issuer decide to issue either at nominal or premium or discount and to mature at nominal or premium or discount? You take into account 
the market related interest rate. So if the investor had an amount that they wanted to invest, they could invest in the debenture or they could buy shares or they could just invest their money in assets like in property, plant and equipment or in an investment property or they could invest in a savings account. Okay, many investment opportunities. So the information says to us the market-related interest rate, the market-related rate that this investor could earn in the market for similar debentures with the same terms as this debenture is 14%. Now, if you look at this, the market-related interest rate is 14%. What this debenture is promising as a return is only 10%. Now, why would an investor be prepared to earn returns of 10% where he could actually invest in the market and earn 14,14417%? That's not a good investment. They don't get enough returns. So what can the issuer do to convince the investor to still invest in this debenture? Well, they can say to the investor, when you buy the debenture, you don't have to pay the full nominal value. I will give it to you at a lower amount. I will issue it to you at a discount. And when it matures and I repay you, I won't repay you only the thousand rand. I will repay you more than the thousand rand. It will mature at a premium. So you might not get the same amount of interest that you could have earned in the market, but you get returns in the form of premiums and discounts. So the nominal rate and the market rate, if you compare this two, they will give you guidance on whether it will be issued and matured at a premium, at a discount, or at nominal value, another name for that, par value.